good morning to all of you today we will see the another new concept related with a crossing over that is the mechanism of crossing over and a significance of crossing over first of all we will see the stages of crossing over in the mechanism of crossing over there are four stages first that is the synapsis second one that is the duplication of chromosomes third one crossing over and last one that is the terminalization first of all we will see the synapsis in a prophase first of meiosis the homologous chromosomes that is genetically identical came close to each other and pairing takes place it is called as synapsis while you observe the figure in that figure you will see the first stage it is due to the attraction between the two exactly identical or homologous chromosomes or homologous regions or chromomeres the resultant pairs of the chromosomes are called as a bivalent the second stage that is the duplication of chromosomes in this stage each homologous chromosome of a bivalent splits longitudinally and form a two identical sister chromatids each bivalent forms a tetravalent of a four chromatids it is called as a tetrad there are two sister chromatids you observe in a figure the third part that is the crossing over or third stage it takes place at a tetrad stage the two non sister chromatids first break due to the enzyme endonuclease then broken chromatids connect with opposite segments so that two non sister chromatids cross each other at a break and exchange a fusion of chromatid takes place by enzyme unlike aids the crossing over of two chromatids is called as chiasmata formation and resulted in a chiasmata the crossing over thus includes a chromatid segment breakage its transposition and fusion as the chromatids are exchanged the genes are also exchanged and thus the linked genes separate the fourth stage in the mechanism of crossing over that is the terminalization after crossing over non sister chromatids starts to repel each other as the synapsis force decreases the chromatids separates from a centromere the movement of chiasmata takes place it is called as terminalization or separation due to this homologous chromosomes are separated out of four chromatids produces two are unchanged or a non crossing chromatids and two are changed or crossing over chromatids with a new combinations of a genes remains 50% first that is the crossing over takes place at a four strand stage pachytin prophase first of meiosis second it takes place between the chromatids and not a chromosomes in a third one only the two chromatids that means the non sisters are in hole in a crossing and two remains as it is that is the genes are preserved in a fourth one in a crossing over the chromatid is paternal and other is a maternal the two non sister chromatids exchange exactly the equivalent segments that is no gain or no loss of genes the crossing over breaks the old linkage groups and gives rise to a new ones the percentage of crossing over not exceeds 50 that is the crossing over or recombinations after completion of mechanism of crossing over we will see the another sub point that is the significance of crossing over it has a great significance in a genetics it provides a direct evidence the linear arrangement of the genes in the chromosomes due to the crossing over new gene combinations are produced these combinations change the frequency of the genes in the genetic pool of population thus the changes of variation increases due to crossing over the variation is thus an essential feature of evolution the third significance it helps in a construction of chromosome maps and also tracing the linkage groups the linkage maps or genetic maps of chromosomes are a condensed a graphic representation of relative distances among the genes in the linkage groups the fourth one it is useful in the field of plant breeding the plant breeders are always 
producing a new and useful varieties of plants. It is done through hybridization by allowing the new recombinations of the genes. Thank you.